we're here tonight because we want to honor, um, we want to honor a very special young lady. Uh, her name is Eleanor Cope. Um, not only do we want to recognize her, but we also want to give council member George Leventhal an opportunity to share his words and his thoughts. That Eleanor Cope really should be someone that we all emulate. Imagine all of us going home tonight and thinking, I want to be like that 11-year-old girl. So 11-year-old Eleanor Cope is not Muslim herself, but she believes that her Muslim friends deserve to be treated equally and fairly as her uh, as a Christian and their Jewish classmates. In fact, she believed this so strongly that as a matter of respect and fairness, she recently circulated a petition at her school and she collected nearly 200 signatures from classmates. Her petition began, imagine having to take an exam or on Christmas or Passover. It went on to read, Montgomery County public schools are closed on Christian holidays like Christmas and Easter, and on Jewish holidays like Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Why not Eve? And this plaque reads, the Council on American Islamic Relations and the Islamic Society of Washington area present this award to Eleanor Cope for your solidarity with the Montgomery County Muslim community on July 5th, 2015. I'd like to share some thoughts on why I started the petition asking the school board to close school for the two Eids. Last August, we were part of the wedding celebrations for our family and friends, Hina and Raheel. And that was the first time that I got to see Muslim celebrations and think about how people in our community practice their Muslim faith. I knew about the efforts to include Eid on the school calendar because one of my teachers at school, Miss May, was in the newspaper talking about it. And I have studied Islam in my Unitarian Universalist religious education so that I knew a little about it. Being part of the Muslim wedding celebrations gave me that kind of experience where I felt more confident talking to other people about respecting Muslim holidays. And getting the Eid holidays off from school is a good and fair idea that everyone should support, no matter what their religion is. The way I see it, I can't be fully me unless you can be fully you. There's too much bigotry and prejudice in the world, so everyone needs to be part of the solution. And kids have much more power than they think. Kids like big ideas. We like fairness, we like respect, we like equality. We've been taught in school that one of our country's core principles is religious freedom and religious tolerance. So it's easy for us to understand the importance of respecting our Muslim friends and teachers. When I gave the speech on this idea to get elected to the student council last fall, the petition that followed was popular because kids get it. They, and our school administrators supported it. They understood fairness. Paul Farmer once said, the idea that some lives matter less is the root of all that is wrong in the world. I want to especially encourage all the kids here to run for their school's student council and start their own school petitions. This effort for Eid has been going on for a long time, and it may take a little longer, but we will get there. <laughs>